Hold a moment, please. Colonel Sarab, Commander, 75th Legion. Honor me with your time, my lord, and I will honor you in turn with a unique invitation from the incomparable Lord Vargo. Thanks to his unparalleled intellect, my master has uncovered a dangerous Republic plot unfolding as we speak. He has deemed you worthy of joining us in destroying them. I have a few moments I can spare. You fought for Darth Gravis and saw the Republic's pathetic reconstruction. It shows nothing of the tremendous resources they received. My master determined that the Republic used those resources not only for rebuilding, but to construct a secret weapon. And my master is never wrong. Your master is lucky to have such a loyal servant. Perhaps when you've accomplished as much as he has, you'll draw such loyalty. Lord Vargo determined the focus of the Republic's efforts prior to the invasion. We were deployed to search the area. Elite enemy commandos attacked us on arrival. We will find the Republic's secret there, with your help. I hope you're right. Lord Vargo does not make mistakes. A speeder will take you to Legion Base Camp, where Lord Vargo directs our operations. My master will show you the beauty of his vision, and you will join our Legion in honor and victory. Of course, whatever you say. Travel route is confirmed. Lord Vargo? Uh, with respect, please refrain from disturbing my master. He is meditating deeply and dislikes interruptions. I'm Lieutenant Trell. Lord Vargo has authorized me to relay his instructions. Does your master ever deal with people himself? Oh, of course. My master is a man of direct action. Were he not otherwise occupied, he would certainly speak to you himself. Our hunt for the Republic's secret project is opposed by elite Special Forces soldiers. We must annihilate them to accomplish our goal. Our troops have encircled the region, maintaining pressure from all sides. While the enemy is thus distracted, you will strike directly at their forces and obliterate them. What about searching for the Republic's project? As you assault the enemy, you will also deploy small probes to help us pinpoint exactly where the Republic is hiding this secret weapon they've been constructing. 
Killing soldiers and deploying droids. This is the work you couldn't do without help. Our enemies are highly trained, well equipped and know the terrain. Conducting this operation will not be as easy as you make it seem. There is one other matter. The leader of the Republic Defenders, Major Camden. His death could only speed our progress. Camden coordinates his soldiers from a heavily fortified base. It's practically impenetrable. If you were to hijack a Republic speeder, though, you might be able to get inside. I'll make sure there are no survivors. Be cautious. Camden is a shrewd leader with extensive cyborg enhancements. He will not fall easily. Here are the probes you'll need to deploy. My fellow soldiers can tell you best how to strike at the enemy's forces. Good luck. My lord, the Emperor smile on you. You must stop them. They are hurting my children. What's happened to your children? My children! My beautiful rat ghouls! The children of all Sith! Those marvelous, precious creatures! The Sith created them, and Darth Malak gave them this beautiful kingdom in which to multiply and grow strong! But now, the Republic is trying to steal Taris from them and destroy them! We must protect them! You really are Sith, aren't you? We are the Empire, and the Rat Ghouls are our children. Taris is their birthright. The cruel Dr. Vernon leads the Republic's experiments to eliminate the Rat Ghouls, destroy his equipment, wipe out his research, kill him. Bureaucracy. Why is it just when stuff starts getting done, it always comes down to bureaucracy? I do not understand you. I've spent the last three months cleaning every bit of worthless Republic supporting pirate scum off this planet. I've got one group left, led by Mad Rago Tolin, and Major Afaria calls the mission off. Says to pack up my blaster and come home. Why would the Empire call the mission off? Major says it's too dangerous. Too many pirates. Not worth the risk. Risk my eye. Hey. Major says the mission's too dangerous for me, okay? Nothing says I can't ask someone to take out these pirates for me. Do you have a plan in mind? I'm thinking you go in there, kill as many of those pirates as you can, and report back to my commanding officer. Major Afaria doesn't need to know about my involvement, and what she doesn't know won't hurt her. Smell that. Scorched men, smoldering vegetation, and dissipating heat. Only victors get to savor that smell. Victors, and men thankful they're still breathing at all. They're out there right now, clinging desperately to the hope they'll drive us back. They have no idea how wrong they are. Who's out there right now? Remnants of the battalion we smashed here are lurking in the wilderness, hounding our every step. That ends now. My men revived a Republic soldier left behind when we decimated their main force. He's generously explained how their people are signaling each other. All that remains is to assemble the small elite unit that will have the honor of the final stroke. Why not hit the stragglers with overwhelming force? They would spot any large troop movements and go to ground. We need to lure them out. The enemy has short-range transmitters hidden in the region to broadcast vital alerts. We can use them to send an all-clear, then eliminate everyone who responds. We've got one opportunity to finish this. Failure will mean enduring guerrilla strikes every step we take. 
Your participation would make victory certain. If anyone could walk up and use these transmitters, why didn't you do this sooner? Even if we'd found them sooner, we wouldn't have known the proper signals without coaxing them from the enemy. These are the coordinates of the transmitters. Make those curs wish they'd never been born. These Republic settlers just won't stop coming here. I'm Dr. Corvus, with Alien Control. I'm here to solve the Cathar problem. Enjoy yourself, then. The Cathar's strength lies in their spirit. Nine times out of ten, they'll fight to their dying breath. So I've developed a serum that dampens the Cathar's inherent aggression. Less fight, more flight. You're saying this serum will turn the Cathar into a bunch of cowards? Essentially, yes. As of 26 minutes ago, my serum is approved and ready for a trial demonstration. The sight of their strongest warriors reduced to mewling runts ought to demoralize the Cathar nicely. Care to do the honors? What exactly do you need? I've prepared several special darts. The serum will kick in moments after it enters the Cathar's bloodstream. After that, I'd recommend waiting until they're good and pathetic before you finish them off. For effect. Always a pleasure, Master. At your service, my lord. <laughs> 